time today I plan to do a tutorial about this module or shield sorry it's a TFT touch screen module I wanted to go some true functions and basic functions of this but unfortunately I found some problems to make it work so today just only for to make this thing work to connect it with our Arduino board and then to detect our when we touch the screen so we are going through this and these things I bought it from China it's very cheap it's less than then ten dollars and it comes with many problems too and this thing has also a slot for SD card oh so okay we're gonna interface it with our Arduino board so it's very simple just place it here all this analog pin connect then you place it here and it's better to add an insulation tape here to Arduino USB port unfortunately I don't have so I'll just use some plastic insulator and press it until it connects okay okay now it's connected I'm gonna plug it in our computer so first we should download the library I will leave the link right below you will get it from github and you download it you know the thing download zip file and then you go to your Arduino and sketch include sorry include library added point zip library and you look for the library for this so things we'll start with is just uh, examples from the from the library and it's the SPFT5408 and we're gonna use the graphic test so this is the graphic test and we're gonna upload it to our Arduino board let me turn off the light okay so it just goes through some basic functions lines and squares and circles as we saw in the OLED screen tutorial but this one is colorful it has many colors so the here the shield seems working if it if it doesn't work for you just check the correct library I think there are a few different types but the one I downloaded here I found it it works for me I don't know about yours okay so this thing now just go through the basic functions now we want to try the stylus to write things or to paint or something we should go through some things okay so here I want to try another example which is SPFD master it's a TFT paint sorry I will show you it's TFT paint so I want this thing to work for me let's try it we upload it to our board it's a program for painting with the stylus or with your hand whatever you want it's a resistive uh, screen not a capacitive one so okay here I press to continue but nothing changed but here when I go like in this area it does press but now I want to press one of the colors it doesn't press I cannot paint at all you may encounter this problem I encountered it too now we will look for the solution so this thing doesn't work at all so the problem is that the manufacturers actually changes the position of the of the pins here 
and some of the old ones are different than the new ones and maybe in few years they will change it again I don't know why so to fix these things I hope this solution works for you too let's go to fix things so here first I'm gonna just save this in uh, another file do not change my file let's make it tft paint okay so now we will look for the define y p a1 a2 and 7 and 6 and then change them it depends on yours and as i said your uh, tft screen i don't know how you will change this but for me here it works h3 and here is 9 and 8 i'm all having a file here that shows my correct pin and I pick from it so here I have 9 and 8 those are the things I changed to make my TFT screen works I hope it w works for you too I'm gonna re-upload this program in here again and let's see what's happening okay it press all right now oh we can paint now no problem but here as you can see i have a problem in the direction you see the y axis is inverted also the point where i press far away from where it shows we're gonna fix this okay to fix this there are maybe some others or simple things to do show me or correct me if I'm wrong but we'll go for and look for the SPFD libraries in Arduino so Arduino you go to libraries and in the SPIFT, we just downloaded it, it installs automatically here. Uh, sure, you should install it from the Arduino IDE. And here we go to the SPFT touch screen and we open it. This is the C source file. Okay, so that's the library, and we should do some changes. Here you go to the line 159, this line 159, and you uncomment this. And let's see what's happened. So we uncomment this, save, and then we upload to our Arduino. Same program here, we don't change anything at all maybe there's another solution i don't know okay let's check now now we inverted we inverted sorry both of them not only one but we inverted both so it's far away So to select pink one, I don't know how, <laughs> or blue or something, we're gonna do some few changes again. We go back to the library and here in the TS point and we should change here we added 100 sorry 1033 minus x and 1023 minus y uh, sorry y just my french again striking it's y 1023 minus x 1023 minus y 
and we reupload our program reupload again so I went through the things to make my TFT screen works and I really hope it works for you too and what I hope for the most as you can see what I'm doing so here okay we seems we can select our colors good let's select blue okay we are going through the axe the axis sorry French again so as you can see we are going through the axis but the point is not correct let me restart this the position is not correct let me select blue I press here you see where it paints or let's select a bright color you see it paints far from where I press so to correct this we just place on the 1023 value either either you increase it or decrease it to make it, to show what's really happening let's go through this too let's make this 1123 and let's reupload the program again So the X show a little bit correct. The programs is a little bit pro correct, not far away from the stylus. Here it's okay, but here not, not at all. This is the price you pay when you buy cheap things. so let me do my let me reapplaud my code i don't know if the last code downloaded or not hmm. okay let me fix my value so the value i found for me that works for me are 100 Okay, I remove this to zero and then for the Y sixty three. So those are my values. I don't know about you, just go through your uh, screen and press and test. It is how you test. You change these values and then you reposition them so the stylus can match the where the position is painting let me re-upload my code so those are the values that suit me I didn't want to make it perfect takes much time and I as I said I plan to do other things than this but I found myself stuck with making the stylus works first so as I said if the touch screen doesn't work just check your connection the pins as we redefine them again and then for the x-axis or y-axis inversion you can invert it from the library change in the library i hope this tutorial helps you to make your touch screen work and maybe later or i think i should do it go through some basic functions like squares and lines and circles and other things and make some projects with it I hope you like these things it took me a lot of time to find the solution and if you like the video please do a like and subscribe comment or whatever you want see you next time <laughs>
Hey, that's pretty good.